Hey people, how you all getting on? This is uh, Indy from Futureshot Visuals and I'm doing a short tutorial on the blackout version of the Blue Yeti. It's a USB microphone for the professional recording. Well, that's what it says on the box. Um, what my main purpose is just to show you what the quality of it is. I'm doing this voiceover is being recorded in straight uh, into Final Cut Pro um, via the USB and the micro USB C that is cl uh, connected into my MacBook Pro. It has four different types of uh, settings and they are cardioid, uh, omnidirectional, bidirectional and stereo. Let's do a bit of an opening here and uh, as you can see what we have in the mic, uh, what comes with the uh, Blue Yeti is um, the USB-C to the micro USB which goes USB-C to a micro USB. A instruction manual. There it is. And there you go, there's the mic. Let's take the covers off. This is actually, uh, it's quite a heavy actually, it's quite a heavy mic actually. Volume button, you've got the uh, gain and you've got the different uh, patterns. Stereo, bi-directional, omnidirectional and cardioid, the micro USB and of course the um, headphone jack and it's got uh, yeah, these soft pads that uh, help you sort of stain on there. And uh, here you can, um, you got these two levers to secure the, the microphone to which angle you feel more comfortable in. And uh, there we go. Right, that's the, uh, that's the uh, mic. There's a USB, micro USB, which is I'm gonna be putting right underneath there. And, uh, and let's tighten it up too. And obviously I've got one of these uh, Apple dongles that I'm gonna be putting into the other side from the USB into the lightning port straight into the MacBook Pro now. And uh, as you can see, it's on mute at the moment. And the bottom lever is for the volume, how much I want to hear myself. Uh, we're going to open QuickTime Player here, our preferences, system preferences, and then we want to go to uh, sound, Blue Yeti, and input, change the input to, can you hear me? Testing one, two, one, two. Uh, okay, you can see that is going on, and I've been told to keep it around there, because you can always edit it afterwards, and you've got the mute function. Uh, I've, I've ticked the um, that so I can also see it there and uh, yeah so it should now be actually recording the way I would generally do a session is uh, I normally use Logic Pro and uh, this is actually my first time recording it so create new empty project create uh, let me just change the settings on here uh, configure head tracker input monitoring testing one two one two testing one two one two so you can see here I've got it selected so obviously I can see one two you don't really want it to peek into its uh, the yellow part so I'm gonna take it to about yellow I'm running it through a logic pro X and I'm just gonna bring this down so you guys when I do a bit of recording I'm just gonna put a press recording in here so that's armed and okay that is now actually recording uh, via my logic pro x i'm going to get a bit closer actually because i think this mic might be a bit too far um you can see that the, you can see it'll hear every single bump i'm literally um i'm quite close to it at the moment i've gone a bit further i'm about two feet away and now as you can see I'm uh, quite close to the uh, Blue Yeti mic. I'm going to just uh, do from A, B, C to a couple of more. A, B, C, D, E, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, Z. I'm going to mute it now and continue speaking. A, B, C. 
E F. So you can see how that works. So but basically, yeah. Um, so literally now I'm really very close. I'm uh, literally probably a hand span away from uh, the mic now. Hi there, folks. How you doing? Okay, so. Um, I'm just going to do a few tests so I can show you. So this is uh, with the mic right up close and uh, you can see what the quality of the mic is there. You can see that how good the quality actually is and um, I'm just going to do it. So with cardioid it's front facing um, but everything is descriptive on the box. I'm just going to check it from the side so you can see how what the sound is going to be from the sides and in cardioid that's the kind of sound you will get around the back and the other side so sorry I'm handling this as you can see because I haven't got a stand for it yet um, so that's cardioid uh, I'm just gonna bring it down to the other versions this will capture audio from the front and from the back there shouldn't be much different the omnidirectional that means you're gonna get mic sound coming in from all, all sorts of direction um, and I don't think I'll actually be using that. You got another one. So if you do an interview or something, you can get the, uh, uh, you know, this is the the mic. It's an absolute brilliant mic, uh, and you, I will show you the difference uh, a bit later on uh, how it sounds from me speaking to you with the um, Blue Yeti, and uh, me check. You know, I'm tr I'm trying. I'm gonna get. I'm also getting used to this. I'm not gonna faff around what I've seen on different channels uh, where people are just going on and on about the the blue yeti and what it can do and what it can't do. Um, I'm just getting straight to the point. Is I've not seen somebody show me how to link it up with a computer, or you can use Audacity, which is the same as um, Logic. What I've showed you. I'm going to keep this video very, very short and straight to the point. One big mistake um, when I was doing research, uh, when I was doing a lot of my research and trying to find out how um, how people are using it, people are using it with the iPhones and there, there is a way of capturing this audio on an iPhone. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but the biggest mistake anybody can do on uh, on um, the, with the Blue Yeti is speak to it like this and you've seen the sound you just do not want to do that no 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 it's a massive big big no so don't try it. it's not worth it blue a usb mic it needs to be used sideways so you're going to be even if you have it this way you still is you're still going to be sort of capturing it's still going to be capturing very good audio in compared to what it would have but the best point is you're going to be speaking to it from this part the front part not there here I'll just give you an example. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can clearly see the difference from there to there. It's a massive difference. Anyway, I'm going to put it back on the desk. I'm going to be using it for uh, my voiceovers are going to be for this. And I'm just going to change the angle of it. So it's slightly tilted. I don't know if you can get a view of that but that's very very slightly tilted and i think that's what that's the way the positioning should be of this mic but if i get my phone and i so you can see there's a lot of i think i need i'll probably need a sort of a boom stand on it where it'll be a lot better for me when i when i use this probably hear the ambient sound on you know from the doors closing me putting things on the table good but I, I will be doing a bit of editing and i'm going to do the editing logic now and and just show you exactly what i will will be doing with the sound i make this any complicated than it actually is but i'm very impressed um the mic it's heavy duty that's that's the only thing i can actually tell you is really really heavy duty i can actually monitor the sound with i look forward to making more of these tutorials and i hope, hope you guys enjoy them before i end i am gonna i'm gonna stop the sound now so the sound you're hearing now will be coming from the camera okay so what would i generally do with this sound now yeah uh one of the things i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into um well i can't actually hear it but i'm gonna do a bit of processing i'm gonna put a bit of an eq on it and just add a bit of bottom end some top end and uh, just take away any bad frequencies i'll be putting a compressor on it so any volume that is um peaking or or is very low we'll be able to hear that um yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial and let me know what you guys uh, thought of it but yeah hope you enjoyed the uh, my tutorial and uh 
there is going to be a link in the description should you wish to buy the Blue Yeti. I cannot be, I'm going to hand on heart, I can't tell you if it's um, any better than any other mic out there because this is my first USB mic. I'm more used to using professional studio quality mics, but from what I'm hearing and from what I'm used to doing um, at home on uh, lavalier mics, this is probably the best thing I've used so far. I'm not saying it's the best, um, but it's it, it, it is very good um so yeah any comments um you know if you've got any comments or any questions about it just uh you know comment below and i'll get back to every each and all of you and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to uh subscribe like and share and if you didn't like it you know give me the thumbs down i'm beginning this uh, youtube channel uh with me giving you these tutorials not just for my sake I'm, I'm learning as I'm going along and I'm sure um, this will benefit some of you uh, but my main task is like I said was to show you how to get the Blue Yeti linked to your MacBook Pro or your PC uh, anyway thank you a lot God bless and bye